What is going on, everybody? Today we have Tom McDonald and Adam Calhoun with Your America. This is Pardon My Reaction. What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Welcome back. We took a little vacation. We did some moving and stuff. Yeah, man. And we're back and we're breaking it out with Tom McDonald and Adam Calhoun. I'm excited. Your America. I'm excited, man. I mean, they don't not put out good music. So yeah, I like Tom McDonald. Obviously, Adam Calhoun is my my jam though. I like of that yeah. genre, like I've always liked his stuff, man. I think he's I think he's just talented. He's just talented. So they're I'm both, actually they're both super talented. They're both talented. And uh, a song about your America. I, I'm actually excited to see what they have to say about this. I am too. You I, know, I feel like there's going to be some digs at people. I feel uh, like there's probably there's going to be some controversial things probably said. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure, dude. But no, man, I'm I'm excited to roll into this, man. It's been like over a month since we've recorded anything. Yeah. So sorry. Uh, but we moved from Austin, Texas over to, you know, the north part of Houston up in the Conroe area, which we were super excited about yep. it. And uh, we're finally settled enough that we can start doing some more of these again. So glad you guys are with us. Hopefully you stuck around to hang out with us. But uh, here we go, man. Let's do it. Tom McDonald, Adam Calhoun, your America. They're screaming that they hate America and we're the reason. If you don't feel safe, then stop the funding the police. Already. You calling us extremists because our words have hurt your feelings. And we're sorry we can't hear you over the sound of our freedom. Y'all been filling up our classrooms with drag queens for kids. We think it's not appropriate. You tell us that it is. The complexities of gender and children won't ever mix when there's school shootings by women whose pronouns are him, his. I'm not Republican, but keep it a hundred. They make it sense. The most destructive ideologies are coming from the left. I think black lives matter. They think white lives matter less. And LGBTQ turned into WTF, dear Democrats, I don't have nothing against the liberal, but the people representing you are communists and criminals. They've been starting World War III, we shipping missiles still. They don't want America great, they want it miserable. You can try to burn down the city, scream at the top of your lungs till you're dizzy. You can cancel everything and everybody in it, but it's not your that's pretty catchy. That's a good hook. Yeah. You can wear a mask and pretend you're progressive. I got my first amendment. Don't forget, I got the second. It's not your America. So, listen, uh, Tom McDonald's style. That's what it is. Oh yeah. You know it's, what I'm saying? You get it's Tom. It's you Tom. get Tom. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's what it is. Uh, good. I mean, some good little lines in there. Obviously, um, the one thing that I always go back to is like a lot of these guys will claim, like, I'm not Republican. Yeah. Like, they say that in their thing. Like, I'm not a Republican, but, you know. Mm -hmm. And it's like, but you kind of are, right? Like, I mean, I listen, I'm not one to say that, like, there's a line in the sand, per se. You know, that like, I, I believe in, in, you know, you can have independent voters and whatnot. And I think a lot of people are in general. But, I mean, if you're really, like, against something that one party's doing, like, it kind of puts you into a certain party. Like, whether yeah. you kind of want to or not, it kind of does, right? Yeah, and, I mean, the way his... His personal music, not I'm not speaking for Adam Calhoun at all, but his personal music, the way it's trended over the years. Sure. I mean, you kind of have to as assume that that's what he's kind of portraying. Yeah. I mean, you, yeah. out of all the things he's talked about and of all the the anti woke and all that stuff, yeah, you could say I'm I'm not on either side or whatever it is, but everything you're saying is more to one side than the other. Sure, the criticism's more towards one. Yeah. And it's rife, in my opinion. It's a little bit rifle, right? Because there's a lot of stuff going on in the world now, in yeah. this country now, that's um, a lot from the left, you know what I'm saying? So I get why he gets the, the bashing from the left and stuff. Mm -hmm. But but to be fair, he, he probably is more center, and that's good. It's a good thing to be kind of center and look at both sides of the picture. But it's also fine. There's Democrats who criticize the left. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I just think, like, if I was to not know him and just hear his music, I would think he was more a conservative person, like Probably. a Republican. Conservative. Yeah, I would assume so too. So the, but, mu the music so far is actually pretty mellow. I actually like the beat mm, and yeah. then uh, smooth in, into the chorus and the chorus was, was actually, that was a good hook. It, it was, it was pretty good. It was a yeah. lot different than what he normally does. Hey, hey, like a lot of the um, really great reviewers, uh, music reviewers out there, like will criticize his hook sometimes mm. that they're not like, anything over the top or special you know i actually think this one's really good yeah this I think one's it's very good. very catchy i like i like the the music is a good tone and the the tone of his voice goes with it very well yeah so let's get into uh, adam calhoun's coming and yeah, this is the one i'm, I'm the very excited here. about for adam calhoun man i'll uh, back it up here a little bit 
Good, great, they want it miserable. You can try to burn down the city, scream at the top of your lungs till you're dizzy. You can cancel True. everything and everybody in it, True. but it's not your America. So you can catchy. burn the flag, get aggressive. You can wear a mask, it's our America, say, man. Progressive. I got my first amendment, don't forget, I got the second. Like it's that, not man. your America. I'm hearing words I never heard in life. Kids go to school to learn, never make it back home, they get murdered like Who's concerned, yeah. not the left or the right, hope you ready for the fight Coming to your front door tonight, the former president got arrested The current one lost, but I guess he got elected Kids get molested, <laughs> pedophiles all get protected And you can kill a baby anytime if you're pregnant People so weak, mm. feel free to take a knee And you can't even speak, God forbid you disagree I don't even know what virtual signaling means Young men, you Used to fight wars, now they make memes. Divide us up, I'm pretty sure that's the plan. Got a gun in my hand for when shit hits the fan. And how the woman of the year is a man. I'm pretty sure I never really understand. You can try to burn down the yep. city, scream at the top of your lungs till you're dizzy. You can cancel everything and everybody in it, but it's not your America. You can burn the flag, get aggressive. You can wear a mask and pretend you're progressive. I First Amendment, don't forget, I got the second. It's not your America. So there's a lot to break down with his lines. Yeah. There's too many to remember all of them. But I thought the way that he kind of went down the list uh, was, was pretty accurate, man. Pretty true. You know what I'm saying? And, and both sides. And that, there was a little bit of a dig on the right as well. And I, I, and I think that they have um, fair criticism. I think that oh, yeah. I think we have issues with, uh, you know, with, with issues at schools and, and shootings. And whether you think it's uh, gun related, whether you think it's mental health related, um, no one can kind of come onto the same page and work together to try to figure out what we can do to make. Yeah, regardless safer. of what regardless. the reasoning is. Yeah, there it's a problem. Yeah, but he, I mean, the lines about like you can have an, you know basically kill a baby at any point. It's true. Um, you know, there, I, I'm trying to remember every <laughs> one of his lines, but you know how the how the fuck is the person a woman of the year a man? Yeah, you know, like what like. It's not to me. It's not um, bigoted or transphobic to say like you know we've come a long ways with women's rights over the past decades, and uh, I mean way back from the forties, fifties, right, where, with voting and everything. And it's like we have women's sports that succeed in a lot of ways, right? Yeah. And we're trying to diminish those by allowing men because that's what they are to join them and to literally blow out their world records to win championships. And then on top of this, like the woman of the year is a man. Like, how about we actually nominate a woman who's done amazing things, like a, a real yeah. female that's done amazing. I mean, Bruce Jenner winning Woman of the Year just for transitioning is is bizarre to me. And I, no criticism to them as a person. You know, they have their own things. Right? Yeah, do whatever you want. But it's like there's women who do amazing, world changing things with through science, through um, aid, through all kinds of stuff. You know what I'm saying? And they do amazing stuff, and they don't get recognized. Yeah, uh, I like the overall uh, tone and feeling of the whole song. It's not like a funny, gimmicky, like a, they're not treating it as a joke. And no, I feel facts. like, I feel like that's a, yeah, they're facts, but I feel like, it, especially in like Tom McDonald's older songs, like it's, it's facts, but he's presenting it in a joke way. And it's more of a fun, <clears throat> funny song. Mm -hmm. And I feel like he, they're doing the same thing here, but it's more of a serious tone to it. No, I actually like that, and I, I get what you're saying. Because, uh, and and we do that with our with our podcast, right? Like we try to take news and we try to make fun with news. Yeah. You know, try to bring a light to it, like make it a little bit humorous. But <clears throat> there is a certain point where you know you have to be a little more serious, and you really want to talk about things that are problematic. And yeah, I think what you're expressing is that you know this song is more of like a hey, like jokes aside, this shit's really happening, and we're getting ourselves in a lot of trouble. Yeah, like we're being divided here. Um. And, you know, I get it. Like, they're, what they're doing is dividing a little bit, right? They're criticizing heavily True. on one, one party. But, like, you have to be able to say it. Yeah. You know, like, there's a point where they purposely divide us, and then there's a point where we have to just say facts. And I think the facts are everything they're saying right now. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you can't, it, it's it'd be hard to disagree with, honestly. Yeah. So we got a minute left, yeah. man. Go into a course here. Let's finish it up. Or actually, a bridge? I don't know. Probably a course and a bridge. I don't know. You can wear a mask and pretend you're progressive I got my first amendment, don't forget I got the second It's not your America You told us, we're the ones to blame You're the ones who riot to the cities of
up in flames You told us We've been spreading lies But you believe the truth is on the news every night You told us We gotta stop the fighting But you're the one to keep the country angry and divided You told us We're crazier than you But all of our conspiracy theories are coming true You can try to burn down the city Scream at the top of your lungs good lines right there Yeah I like how he did like the uh, the, the kind of singing talking. That was cool. You can burn the flag and aggressive. You can wear a mask and pretend you're progressive. I got my first amendment. Don't forget, I got the second. It's not your America. Yeah, super clean video, man. Yeah, uh, yeah. That last section I thought was really good, where they're saying, um, you know, you you tell us that we lie, but you listen to the news every single night. Like, that's a huge thing, right? Because, like, yeah. you know, listen, I think when you when you talk about, and, and on, our, on our main show, we, we discuss news and we, we get into, like, some weird conspiracy sometimes, just what's trending and what's happening. I think when you look at that, like, a lot of people be like, ah, you're wacky, you know? But, like, it's just thinking. You're thinking outside of the box, right? Outside of what you're told on the news every single night. You're just mm-hmm. like, but this seems to fit, like, a puzzle, right? So, like, why not explore it a little bit, you know? Yeah. And you have to. And he also said that, like, you know, you said we're crazy, but our conspiracies and thoughts are happening, like starting to come true. Yeah. And so, yeah, it, there's a weird uh, divide with that when it comes to like, who do you believe? And I think at the end of the day, the news is wrong a lot. And wow. I think conspiracy theorists are wrong a lot, but there's truth in both. Yeah. And so you have to take it all. Yeah. Then right? That's the hard part is kind of just ciphering through everything. Because, I mean, you can't take everything at face value and expect it all to be right. You're right. And I I think at the end of the day, it comes down to like you doing some research and what feels right to you. Yeah. And if you believe that something is like you've done, you know, you've looked at the papers, you looked at all different articles, you've read stuff and you've went online and you kind of done some research. I think you can kind of in your head figure out where you stand on something and you may be wrong, but like you stand there because you believe it. And, And I think that's what it comes down to. And you shouldn't shoot somebody down. Um, but that you also have to be open to debate. Yeah. What's that? What's that line? Uh, you got to stand for something or you'll fall for anything. That's, that's it, man. Yeah. Right. And so it's, it comes down to like, I think the biggest problem, and this is where I'll end it for me on, on just the review part is I think the biggest problem. And I think what they're expressing is like, we need to be able to come together and have engaged conversation and debate without getting angry at each other. Cause I feel like that's the only way to kind of settle some of these things that we completely disagree on. Yeah. Because I think conversation, if it, conversation it has to be, I think most of the time when you have a conversation with somebody you don't agree with, you end up going, I see where you're coming from on that. Yeah. And then they go, Oh, I see where you're coming from on that. And you can kind of get some common ground. Yeah. And so I, you know, I really like what these two are doing and they've been doing it for a lot of years now. And I appreciate a, their love for America. And you know, they're, they're kind of talking about things that we're having problems with. Yeah. And I think they're both very talented, uh, very, very talented in their own rights individually. That's a banger, man. So your America, it's our America. That's yeah. what they're saying. This yeah. is our country, man. We all have different thoughts, man. I like this, dude. Tom McDonald, Adam Calhoun, your America. Sick. Double thumbs up on this one for sure. 